Hello everyone. Uh, I am Bassam Hinawi from Egypt, and it's my pleasure to uh, present a case uh, in CVI 2020. Um, our case today is about a, uh, a post cabbage intervention. Our patient is a 52 year old male, a diabetic for seven years. He underwent cabbage four years ago, but with no reports. He was presented by effort engine and not responding to medical treatment. Physical examination only showed harsh vesicular breathing and apical S4. His AKG and echo showed uh, LED ischemia with mildly impaired uh, LV systolic function. His coronary angiography uh, showed total occlusion of the distal left main with no uh, filling of the LED or LCX. <coughs> we made sure of this uh, shocking uh, anatomy from the spider view. Uh, the first softness graft we found uh, is a well working one, uh, uh, filling uh, the diagonals adequately. This is the same graft. The right coronary artery uh, showed non significant lesions and it filled the left system retrogradely. Uh, this is a stump of another uh, softness graft that showed the total occlusion after uh, the stump. Regarding the lima, uh, selective cannulation was uh, somewhat difficult uh, due to angulation, but it showed the uh, uh, distal LED lesion after the anastomosis, critical lesion. And here we can see uh, another lesion at the anastomotic site. Okay, we stopped to take our decision and we decided to revascularize the LED territory. Uh, we passed the wire run through intermediate wire uh, into the lima, uh, which made the selective cannulation easier. These are the two lesions. Uh, this is a PTCA by a 2 mm balloon to the distal LED lesion. And this is the first stent, the distal one, 2.25 mm diameter. And here we can see the, the proximal lesion after deploying the distal stent. at the anastomotic site. And then we deployed the proximal stent. It's 2.5 millimeter in diameter. With adequate overlap. And this is the final result of the Lima LED. with no need to, uh, to do something more uh, like pot or something. <clears throat> okay, uh, then we tried uh, to open the softness graft that was occluded. We passed the wire, it passed easily. <clears throat> and then the PTCA balloon uh, passed through the total occlusion and we inflated it uh, at nominal pressure. But unfortunately, uh, the graft didn't open. Uh, and here we decided to leave the patient with this result uh, and try uh, maximum medical treatment and follow up uh, to see if he's still symptomatic or not. And uh, fortunately, uh, he went very well on maximum medical treatment with no attacks of angina. Uh, and he's doing well for uh, now for six to a month after the intervention. Okay, our take home message uh, was uh, that in post cabbage patients tackle the most critical and most important lesions according to the patient's clinical status and coronary anatomy. Uh, like here, we decided to revascularize the LED territory and also try to minimize softness graft interventions unless highly necessary. Thank you very much.